In this video, I'll show you cluster sampling, its requirements, and the difference between cluster and stratified sampling. Cluster sampling is used when natural groups are present in a population. The whole population is subdivided into clusters, and random samples are then collected from each group. You'll find this used in market research, when a researcher can't get information about the population as a whole. However, they can get information about the clusters, and it's often more economical or more practical than stratified sampling or simple random sampling. There are a few requirements. Cluster elements should be as heterogeneous as possible. In other words, the population should contain distinct subpopulations of different types. Each cluster should be a small representation of the entire population. Each cluster should be mutually exclusive. In other words, it should be impossible for each cluster to occur together. Cluster sampling and stratified sampling are very similar. In fact, they're so similar, they're often confused. But with stratified sampling, you're going to group by characteristic. For example, I might decide to subdivide my small population here by color. With cluster sampling, I'm looking for a natural grouping, like geographic location. For example, I might have clusters of people in California, New York, and Florida, and I'm going to use simple random sampling to choose one cluster for interviews. With simple random sampling, I'm going to assign a number to the groups, and then choose one of those random numbers. Let's say my simple random sampling picked California. I'm going to interview all three people in that California cluster. I'm not going to interview anybody in the clusters that were not chosen with simple random sampling. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.